Pakistan has a new prime minister in Anwar Ulhaq Kakar. The little-known politician from Balochistan is believed to be close to the military. Early in the day, he was sworn in as Pakistan's caretaker prime minister. Kakar was sworn in by President Arif Alvi in Islamabad today. His appointment came after the dissolution of Pakistan's parliament last week. At the top of Kakar's list of agendas will be naming a cabinet for the caretaker government and ensuring free and fair elections as the South Asian nation battles political and economic crises. Outgoing Prime Minister Sheba Sharif was given a guard of honor as he stepped down. Reports suggest the chief of the PMLN party, former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, may be returning to Pakistan in September under Pakistan's constitution. A neutral caretaker government oversees the national elections. The elections must legally be held within 90 days of the dissolution of the parliament's lower house. This means elections are ideally to be held around early November. 52-year-old Kakar hails from the southwestern province of Balochistan, the region borders Afghanistan, and has witnessed internal turmoil at times. He is not particularly well known even within the political circles of Pakistan. Hence, his appointment came as a surprise for many in the alliance government itself. He was a part of the Balochistan Awami Party, which is widely considered to be close to the military. Former pa Prime Minister Imran Khan, Pakistan Tariqe Insaf Party, expressed hope that Kakar would ensure free, fair, and credible elections. But we really, but that, the question remains will that really be the case? Considering this, on August 5th, days prior to the dissolution of the parliament, Imran Khan was arrested and convicted of corruption charges. He has been sentenced to three years in prison. He is now barred from contesting elections for five years. At the same time, a digital census of 2023 was approved in haste by a constitutional body called the Council of Interests. Now, the law mandates that there should be delimitation or drawing up of constituencies based on the changes in population before the next elections. The process would officially take 120 days, leading to possible delays in the election. Further, since July 1st, a series of legislative changes have been introduced that will now let the caretaker government take far-reaching decisions beyond day-to-day -day affairs rather than playing a nominal role. It is being speculated that through an army-backed caretaker prime minister, the Pakistani army will bring about some sweeping changes in the country's political and economic setup. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.